of that I'm going to ask you, can you tell me what is the difference between the projectile and your model? What is the difference? Just name one difference. Maybe we start from this, this, this table. What, what difference? What can I change to make the, the model uh, mimic the real motion? What might change? X, X position, Y position, velocity in the X, velocity in the Y. What do I change? If we need to move the X and Y, yes, correct. But how to move? There is something called, you learn in kinematics, right? Something called initial speed, right? So maybe I can keep come here, I can select the initial speed. Maybe say the initial speed I suspect is 1. This is my guessing, okay? So can you tell me uh, from the model that I have just inputted, okay, V x equal to 1? Should I should I be satisfied with this model with velocity v x equal to 1? Or should I be unsatisfied? Unsatisfied because it doesn't mimic right. One is like this and one is like that, right? Okay. So should I increase or decrease? Okay, now sector is very fantastic. Okay, so you double click on it, now it says click here to drag to adjust. So you do exactly what it says. Okay, now I'm going to make this 1.1. .1, okay, and I'm going to select the, the move the mouse down and then it becomes like a two, two side arrow. I want to move it to the right because I'm trying to select the decimal place and now I'm going to move my use my mouse, press down and drag okay. Now we can see that as I drag it somewhat matches better now I'm going to enter okay. Now let's stop the video Wow, not too bad Okay Can you start to see the power of modeling? Because the number 1.6 seems to not exactly the same, but seems to start to resemble the real physics, right? 1.6. Okay? So it matches, so you can see that this is actually like a vertical projection down. Okay? So 1.6, oh, sorry, 1.7, what I'm talking about? 1.7 is roughly there. Okay? You may want to fine tune it. Okay? Fine tune it. Okay? So come here, move your mouse until here. This is the order of energy you want to change, then click on the mouse, press on it, and then drag. Okay, so I think it's 1.72, okay? So now you can see that the model building process is not the end goal. The process itself is important for learning. Because you, you begin to understand what are you inserting into your model that starts to make sense, okay? But to be very good at it, we perhaps need to fine tune the number. So it's not exactly 2.6, maybe it is. Let me just adjust a bit. Huh? I should adjust it up or down. I mean, I mean, I should not go. Let's, let's just try. Oh, I should adjust it up. Makes sense, huh? because with a higher velocity in the y direction, it should be able to go higher. Okay? See? Okay? So I think it stops around there. Okay? Enter. Okay. Every single point seems to be quite a good fit. Now with this evidence, don't you think that your, your model is quite representative of the real world physics, right? So what it means is this. There is actually no force in the x-direction. There is a force in the y-direction but negative 9.1 because up is positive. Therefore, down means the force is actually negative y. Okay? These are the initial speed of the launch. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you maybe another two things because time is running out. Okay? Two cool things that you will remember today's lesson. Okay? First cool thing is this. I, go to, I teach in, I teach in uh, JC before. It's very common. The students say there's a drop of hand pushing the ball. As a projectile. You know? Are you familiar with this terminology? As you throw the ball, there's actually some force pushing it that explains why it's moving forward, right? Okay? So with this, if I had new tractor, then I would have told the student, come on, let's try your theory. Your theory says there's a lot of hand, right? Pushing in the x direction. Let's try. Let's try three. And what happens? Okay? Why, why, why stop at three? Why not ten? Okay, so in, in the numbers, this clearly tells me one thing. 
Whenever a student says something, let them try. Help them. But then show them the evidence and then tell them, do you think you're still correct? Okay. So with this, you can see that this actually represents something like a rocket. So it's not a propelled projectile, it is just a normal free throw. So once you release it, there's no more force in the next direction. Okay? So I'm going to make this back down to zero. Okay? But let's, let's go back to model the app system. I'm going to call it model B. Okay. So by introducing a different value of K, you can see that the air resistance has to be. See, even if the air resistance is 0 0.1, it still doesn't match. So it has to be 0. Then it matches the physics that we are seeing in that video. 